Hey, what's up everyone? Here is Akta. Welcome back for more content on Infinite Magic Red. And in this video, I'm gonna try different kind of teams to try to beat stages 31 at least, 32. And yeah, we are gonna have a look to further stages, but uh, higher stages, but I'm not sure that I can reach a 33 without Nicolas, but still, uh, let's try different things. Here I'm gonna use a Vizli first, uh, instead of Nicolas in the same team, but first of all, let me activate the aura I had on her. Uh, this is the aura I had, so it's it's not gonna make a huge difference, but still it can help a lot. So this is Rom stage 31. Uh, let's run the fight in auto and see if it works. Okay, so I'm doing the same thing as usually with Nicolas. I'm freezing enemies, lowering their attack. So if I take an attack, I, normally I should be safe. Perfect. First wave down. Second one. Here I'm gonna buff myself with Catherine. So the goal of this wave is gonna be to counter attack enemies. Pretty nice. So now they are not going to do a lot of damage on my heroes because of the, the attack down on them thanks to Visley. So I'm pretty safe for now. Perfect. Now they have enough dots. They are gonna they are gonna die. They are gonna die. Here on the boss wave, something really important is to have a lot of uh, speed on Hezanja, uh, more than uh, Nazakma here, 1820, because your Hezanja, when you use him with Quinlan, uh, you need to kill Nazakma as fast as possible. Um, if you can freeze uh, uh, Nazakma, it's even better, because you are gonna break uh, the the connection, the soul connection, and so your Lukia, your DPS, you can replace Lukia by need roll, etc. Won't lose any HP when you are gonna attack Nazakma. So it worked. He is frozen. So you see, there is uh, the link is not here anymore. So I kill him. Perfect. I didn't lost any HP with my Lukia. So now I'm gonna lower the attack of the boss. Perfect. And now I have to tank. So even take with, by taking a crit with my heroes, they are still alive for now. So now the goal is to inflict as much poison damage and bleed damage as possible on the boss. So for now it's pretty nice, but I don't have the consolidation anymore. No attack buff on the boss, and so uh, I took a huge amount of damage on my heroes. But yeah, this is done, the fight is over. So Rome stage 31. Let's try again. On the 32 in order to see if it works. So same strategy on the first wave. So I could tank some damage thanks to the attack down on the enemies. Okay, fine, it worked. Okay, sorry for the lag. Um, second wave, so I have the, the counter attack and the consolidation from Catherine, so I'm pretty safe with my heroes, but still, I'm taking a lot of damage here, as you can see, um, but I should survive, I think I'm gonna survive, yeah, this is okay, uh, because I have huge stats on my heroes, so it helps a lot. So now they are gonna die, perfect, so let's jump into the boss wave, and see what happens. Okay, Nezekma is frozen, attack down on them. The boss doesn't ha doesn't took the attack down on him, which is pretty bad. Uh, I'm probably gonna lose this one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I lost everybody because I didn't have the attack down on the boss. So, and it, it didn't work. Apparently, I don't have enough effect hit on my... Um, on my Visley, but she has 140% and she has a Visora to increase her effect hit, but it didn't work on enemies. They have 88% effect resistance, so I need even more than that in order to be sure to lower the attack of the boss. Because, or maybe the boss didn't take the resistance down before I tried to inflict the attack down, I don't remember. But we are gonna see that. Let's retry and see. Okay, so for now I can tank. But higher stages, I, I should be dead here in higher stages. Rum 33, 
I would be dead here on this wave. So let's try again and hope I freeze again and Zekma. So lower the resistance. Oh, oh no, okay, didn't work. Okay, I attack down now here, it's okay. So let's see the difference. Uh, for now, I'm still alive. Still attack down on the boss. Speed reduction thanks to a Vizli, which is pretty nice, so I can buff myself again. I'm not sure, but now it should be okay. Speed down on the boss again. Oh, I lost my Lukia. She's my highest damage dealer here, so probably it's not gonna work. Yeah, it's not gonna work. I don't have my... My... <sighs> my buffs. Okay, it's not... It's not working. It's not working. Maybe if I had Combat Vanguard Aura on my Vizli, it could work, but here, clearly, it's not working. So, at least I can do ROM 31 with this team, this team. So, let's try another one. Let's try another one. I spent all my day yesterday to try different kind of teams here. Uh, so, where it is, maybe at the end. Yeah, I, I tried this one. Uh, I don't remember if I changed a lot of things here, but this one, the goal, yeah, it's a specific, specific team here. I want to increase the cooldowns of the skill of enemies, use the taunt, so they are, uh, they need, they are forced to attack my, uh, my freak, or freak, I don't know how to, how you pronounce that, freak maybe, uh, let's say freak, and so freak, doesn't take a lot of damage, so he can tank. Uh, I can control them with my Queenland. I can kill enemies with both Queenland and Lucia, and I have Catherine to use again the consolidation. So I am pretty safe normally, safe normally with that. And I if I die, you are gonna see something really interesting. Look at the layers I have on of residual mana on my Ina. So she has the um, uh, the overflowing mana uh, level 4, and so she has this unique buff, so every time she takes an attack, she doesn't take any damage. So as you just saw, I'm pretty safe for now. Only one enemy remaining, so it's okay, I can manage to kill him. First wave down. So, second wave. Consolidation, I lower their attack and their crit damage, so I won't take any damage. Look at that, it's pretty nice, thanks to the consolidation and the damage reduction. Uh, it's pretty safe. And now they have to focus my uh, hero here. And he takes no damage. This is great. Uh, if he miss, he lack a lot of effect hit. It would be better if I had more on, on my freak. Uh, because he could apply the provoke. And be sure to land his debuffs on the, second, on the first active skill here. Uh, because at the moment he has only 71% effect hit, so he needs more than that. Oh, and also I nerfed him a bit. He should have more speed than that in order to be efficient against the boss. But why not? Okay, so only two enemies remaining. Only one. It's pretty nice. It's taking a bit more time than before. But it's working. So, place to the boss. What is this gonna happen? Nezakma is frozen. Perfect. Attack down and crit damage down, Nezekma is gonna die. Uh, the boss doesn't ha has the two debuffs here, and so it's pretty safe for now. I have the consolidation one time, thanks to my uh, Ina. And now I have it again. So for now I'm pretty safe. Att only attack down, yeah, I need more effect hit. I need more effect hit clearly because I missed the crit damage down on the boss. And it's terrible to miss this kind of debuffs. So I buff myself again. I'm pretty safe as you can see. I am pretty safe. And it's done. It's over, so run 31 without Nicolas, with another kind of team, and I'm pretty glad to use uh, Ina and Fritsch uh, in, in Freak in this kind of dungeon team, you know? It's pretty interesting in my opinion. Uh, let's, try, let's try on this one, run 32, in order to see if it is working or not. 
The one enemy isn't uh, frozen, but he has to focus my freak because I increased his cooldowns and I applied the taunt on my freak. So now I have to tank the attacks, but I have the consolidation and they are not doing dealing a lot of damage. Oh, Catherine, it didn't work. It didn't work. Okay. Okay, so maybe I have to change something here. Um, I did many tries yesterday, but let me change something here. So first of all, I increase the cooldowns. Uh, of enemies on the first wave, then I apply the taunt. Uh, here it's important to lower their attack. Uh, you know what? Let me do this. So normally it should work. Let's hope I get my cooldowns back for the second wave. Otherwise, maybe it's gonna... It's not gonna work, maybe. So let's retry. Cooldown increased. But it's a bit bad, you know, to do this kind of stuff because I freeze them, I increase their cooldowns, but they are frozen, so it doesn't really matter, in fact, right? Uh, maybe I should change something. Yep. Maybe, probably I should change it. You know what? If it fails, I'm gonna change it and retry. Okay, second wave. They are frozen. Cooldown. Yeah, one, one more time I do it, but it's useless in my opinion. Provoke. Pretty nice with the basic attack. Ooh, I took a lot of damage. I didn't have the cooldown on my skill. He didn't use it. He didn't use this skill. Why? Did I block it? Uh, let me change, let me retry with something different, where is it, okay. So, I said don't use it before, so use this skill first and then this one, so it's gonna be better because I'm gonna increase their cooldowns, they are gonna be forced to attack my fridge and then they are gonna be frozen, so normally it's gonna be safer. Uh, so, I, you know what, I'm not sure to to try that on the second wave because I need this skill for the third wave otherwise otherwise it's gonna fail otherwise it's gonna fail mm -hmm. so what should I do? what should I do? let's try and see I would say I wanna say let's try and see okay because I wanted to use this one first but no, I'm gonna do the same as before. Uh, let's try this one first. Uh, because with Ina, I'm doing the same. I increase their cooldowns. Here, I want to uh, apply the taunt. But I need this skill for the next wave. This is the first one I have to cast. It's a bit annoying. It's a bit annoying. So for the last wave here, uh, I try to increase the cooldowns. If it works on Nazekma, I'm pretty safe. If it doesn't work, I have to rely on the freeze from my Quinlan. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. So, so, so. It should be okay. Let's try that. Let's try that. Okay, one more try. Stage 32. Can we do it with this? Cool. Oh, it didn't proc on everybody though. It worked on nobody, in fact. <laughs> okay, so I don't have enough effect hit on my Ina, but look at that. You're curious? I have 134% effect hit on her. So, in fact, I need way more than that because they have a lot of resistance here. So, it's not 100% reliable. Okay, so now I have to tank. And look at that. I missed all my debuffs with my Freak. But the first wave is over. It's not the hardest one. Cooldown increased. Okay, it was perfect. They are frozen. One is provoked. 
And my Katharine is also gonna die, maybe. Yeah, because she's not gonna use her skills anymore. So it's not gonna work. Oh, okay, I have the consolidation from Ina. Pretty nice. So maybe it's gonna work this time. Okay. Boss wave, boss wave. Is it gonna work? I'm not sure. So, Nazakma is frozen, attack down and crit damage down on the boss, Nazakma is dead, so it's perfect, for now it's perfect. Okay, no damage thanks to the attack down and crit damage down, pretty nice. So now I have the consolidation, the boss is taking a lot of damage and it's, it's, it's working apparently, for now it's working. If I... Okay, it was hard here because I had the debuffs on the boss but not the consolidation. I, I mean, I have two heroes with the consolidation but they can't apply the con consolidation, they apply the consolidation together. So I need to change something in my skills. Oh, I lost my Lucia. It's not gonna work. I'm gonna lose. Oh, please. So... It's not gonna work. My Quinlan by himself doesn't deal enough damage. He, he is here for the waves, I mean. I still survive though, <laughs> so maybe it's gonna it's gonna work. No, I have no deep, no buffs anymore, so I died. Okay, I want to show you something. Please kill my Catherine. You want to see my Ina solo the boss? Kill my Catherine, please. Look at that. She's immune to damage, but she had not enough speed, and so one the boss is gonna play two times in a row, and I'm gonna die. But it, it was fun to see. It was fun to see. So maybe if I change something in my team, it could work. Um, but yeah, it's, it was interesting to see, in my opinion. It was interesting to see. So that was all for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If it's the case, as usual, please like, comment and subscribe and then see you in the next one. Bye bye. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'm going to change something here. Maybe I'm not forced to use Quinlan in this team. Uh, let's try with Ulcaster instead. Because I want to freeze enemies. And so maybe it can work. Maybe it can work. So let's try that here. Or let's try that here. Uh, you know what? No, let's try this instead. And let's hope that I keep my second skill for the boss wave. Let's try this one, who knows? I'm gonna have more bleed damage against the boss. Cooldown increased, but not on everyone. So I'm gonna have to tank some attacks. Okay, I'm still alive. Now, uh, yeah, I missed a lot of debuffs. So, come on, Ucaster, kill them, get the buffs, deal more damage, please. Freeze them again. Okay, for now it's working. They are frozen again. Dead and don't waste your freeze, dude. Okay, so first wave down. Cooldown increased. Okay, yeah, I'm probably gonna lose some heroes. Okay, they are frozen. Okay, now he deals some damage. But they don't have the debuff, the death down and the tenacity down anymore, so... 
Okay, Senna is gonna die. Now only Walter remaining. Yeah, I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna survive until the boss... Oh, he wasted his skill. Pretty bad. No, caster. You have to keep your, your freeze for this wave. Cooldown increased. Okay, he's, he's dead. My Lukia is still alive for now. And she has the consolidation, so it's gonna work. Defense down on the bus. So let's have a look to the damage. Now my Lukia should deal a lot of damage thanks to Ulcaster if he can apply the debuffs. Defense down, let's go. Yeah, pretty nice. How much bleed damage? Yeah, this is insane. Pretty nice. And attack down on the bus. Okay, no attack down. No crit damage down on the bus. No consolidation on my Lucia. Okay, she's still alive for now. I almost lost my Ulcaster. And final result, the bus is gonna die. Ooh, it's working with my Ulcaster instead of Quinlan. This is insane. Oh, pretty nice damage from Ulcaster though. I like it. I like it a lot. So you know what? That was all for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, maybe, maybe excuse me. Maybe you want to see the stats on my heroes. Um, I'm gonna uh, do it really fast. So uh, this is what I have on my Lucia. Uh, 41k attack, I have a huge amount of speed, 70% crit rate, a lot of, not that much crit damage, but not that much effect hit too, uh, a lot of mastery. Uh, if you are curious about that, I have these emblems on her, everything to increase her dot damage, and uh, reduce the damage she takes, and I have this aura on her. Then this is my Ulcaster. Uh, I rebuilt my Ulcaster for the arena. I'm gonna make some content in the arena about him because I, I think that with this uh, build he is interesting for the arena. So I have 41k attack on him, uh, almost 1800 speed, 94% crit rate, a lot of crit damage, 242, uh, and not that much effect hit because I want to play him more as a DPS for the arena. I have these emblems on him, everything to increase his uh, direct damage and lower his uh, damage taken. And I have this around him at the moment. Uh, this is not the best I can have on him. Um, I chose this one instead of the uh, Shield Smashora uh, because he increased his own turn meta with a basic attack and so he never has... He doesn't always have a shield on him, so this one is better, uh, but this one could be the best, but as you can see, I lack some um, runes here, so I couldn't craft this one for now. But it's gonna be better for him, this one. Uh, then this is my Catherine, so a huge stats, yeah, a lot of HP defense, a speed, and a bit of a healing effect. So I'm using her with this, this aura to increase her heals on my heroes, and these emblems to increase her survivability and uh, shield effect and heal effect. And then this is my Ina, double first aid set. I have a lot of tanky stats on her, not that much speed. Maybe it could be better to have more than the boss, 2,200 2, and a bit more. Uh, a lot of effect hit, but I would need more because I just, just saw I miss some cooldown increase sometimes and it's not great. Um, these emblems on her to increase her effect hit, shield effect, speed uh, and resistance for the arena. And I'm using this around her at the moment to increase her chance to land the debuffs. Uh, then, uh, who did I try? I showed you my Quinlan. Uh, double master reset, a lot of HP, defense, uh, not that much speed to be a slower than enemies to inflict the HP burning on them at the beginning of the, the, the wave. And to get the extra turn at the beginning of the wave, uh, the first turn, sorry, to freeze them. Um, a lot of effect hit. I nerfed a bit my mastery to increase the effect hit because otherwise I'm not sure to land the freeze on enemies and if I can't land the freeze 
sometimes I'm dead, so it's really important um, to lower his damage and increase his effect hit first. Uh, everything to increase his dot damage and uh, lower the damage he takes. And I have this around on him at the moment, so it's a legendary one. Uh, if you don't can afford this one, you can take the one I have on my head, Zanja. Uh, this one. This one is great. Okay, then I sh Oops. Oops. Sorry. Sorry. I go back on my box. So then I showed you my Hezonja. Uh, first 8 set and mastery set. I have a 500k HP, so a lot of HP defense, a lot of speed for a DPS. I would like to aim 2000 to be a better for the guild boss. Um, 80% effect hit is not great for this kind of content if you don't have a resistant uh, debuff on enemy. 130% mastery. I have these emblems on him, so everything to increase his dot damage and lower the damage he takes. And this blue aura on him to increase his HP thanks to the level of the aura and the mastery. Then this is my freak. Uh, first 8 set and a speed set, he has a lot of uh, HP and defense, a, lo a lot of speed but not enough, he should have more than the boss uh, and so more than 2200 and a bit and some effect hit but he lacks a lot, he should have 100, I want to aim 100 effect hit to be um, sure to land my debuffs or almost and I have this around him, uh, these emblems, so to increase his uh, survivability, maybe I should increase his effect hit instead, it could be better. Uh, I'm gonna do that, maybe. I'm gonna do that and pick this one instead of the others, so I will be sure to land my debuffs. Yeah, it's gonna be better. Let's have a look. Okay, it doesn't recommend that, but this is what I would pick on him. And this aura on him to increase his chance to land the debuffs. Um, let me check, did I cover every hero? No, uh, I showed you a Vizli, so this is my Vizli uh, effect hit set, double effect hit set with a lot of HP defense, a lot of speed but not enough. Um, a lot of effect hit but not enough because you saw at the beginning of the video I missed some debuffs on the boss and it was fatal for me. And this aura to increase her chance to land the, dot, uh, the debuffs. So, these emblems also, to increase her chance, to, her effect hit, and her speed, and resistance. That was for the guild boss and for the arena. Uh, I think I showed you all the heroes I used during this video. So, that was all for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If it's the case, as usual, please like, comment, and subscribe, and then see you in the next one. Bye-bye! Infinite Magic Raid. Play to slay.